So there we go. While we all kind of navigate this again. So cool, when you're ready and you've got yourself somewhat sorted, you can find a spot on your mat. Of my monster here as well. So just making sure that you are nice and, and comfortable. And just allowing what is around you and near you to just be. And if you feel comfortable enough, you can close your eyes. And we're settling into the space that you're in right now. Take a moment to adjust your seated position. So if you feel that your knees are scrunching up, you might just want to slip a pillow underneath your buttocks so that you can lift your hips a little higher than your knees. And then observe and feel the space that you create in the hip joints. So today's session is going to be all about creating space within and around us. Because the more space we start to create within us, the more room for possibility and opportunity we create for ourselves. And just keeping that in mind as we move through the postures. We're feeling that things can be done with a sense of ease. So we're not going to think of contracting and resisting and drawing in, we're going to think of softening and opening, creating space, and between joints, between parts of the body, creating space between movements. And then as you sit there, see if you can already start off by connecting to that universal rhythm or the pulsation that I was talking about in my newsletter. As you inhale, feel that there's a sense of expansion moving outward and with each exhalation feel that you're moving back in as you're inhaling you're breathing into the space the universe and as you're exhaling you're returning back to your center point starting to pick up that rhythm. And as you pick up that rhythm, you kind of automatically eventually just sink into that, I like to call it that universal, universal pulsation. It's kind of just there and you pick it up and it feels as if you're, you're becoming one. And when we do this practice regularly, then it's quite easy to slip into that space. And sometimes it takes a little bit of practice, a little bit of effort to get there. I'm taking three more slow, smooth, steady breaths in this space. Allowing what is to just be. Noticing what it is that you connect to. With this session this evening, most of you know my instructions, my voice, my guidance. So you're welcome to do as much of the class with your eyes closed to see if you can just stay in that beautiful play of the inhalation, expanding the exhalation, contracting. And if you need to open your eyes and observe a movement or two that's not too clear, then do so. Again, making it your own, never doing anything that makes you feel uncomfortable or at unease. And when you feel settled and stable, we'll start with gentle circles. So you might want to lean forwards, over to the right, back and to the left. Allowing your torso to circle 
possibly feeling like as you lean back, you feel like you're inhaling, and possibly as you're leaning forward, exhaling. If it feels more natural to do it the other way, then do it the other way. Inhaling, feel as if you're receiving from the universe. And as you exhale, it's as if you're giving back. Inhaling, leaning back and receiving. Exhale, giving back as you lean forward. And you can make it small circles, you can make it big circles, you can move from small to big. Again, see what movement you need to do to create space within. There are slow and there are smooth circles. And see if you can change direction. Circling the other way. Super. And again, one direction might seem a little easier or more comfortable than the other. It's nothing to worry about. It's just an observation. And releasing. Change over the cross of your legs, whichever leg was in front the small time, send that one back, the one that was back comes out in front. And then from there, you can hold onto your shins, inhale as you open your chest, exhale as you round and lean back. So a seated calf stretch this evening, inhale, opening, exhaling, rounding. Where can you create space? Inhale as you open the chest, and I can open into the throat as well without dropping the head back and then drawing the chin in, rounding the spine. Inhale, creating space in the chest through the abdomen. Exhaling, creating space through the spine, your upper back. And a few more rounds in your own time. One more round. And then releasing. From here, let's extend the right leg out in front. You can bring your left leg up and we'll start with little circles. <laughs> Circling kind of the, the hip in one direction. And then circling it the other way. <coughs> Making sure that you're supporting the knee and the foot or the ankle. <coughs> movement. Creating a little bit of space in this left hip. And then bring that foot to your right inner thigh and give it a bit of a bounce. How light, how open, how soft does it feel in this left? And then from there, release it. Extend and lengthen through your right leg. Create a place, the hands or interlock the thumbs, bringing the arms up so that you can relax your shoulders. Inhale smoothly. And as you exhale, imagine just sliding along the tabletop, leaning forward so that you can feel a lengthening through the back of your right leg. And then with your inhalation, you're bringing yourself back up to neutral. And continue. So we're warming up through the back of the leg. And again, for you this evening, it might be a small movement. Or if you feel that the body is quite warm, it might be a nice, long, extended, smooth movement, going as far forward as you feel comfortable. Wherever you're at right now is absolutely perfect. But remember, we're wanting to create space. So no resistance, no pain, no discomfort. One last time. And the next time you lengthen forward, stay there. Release the hands down to wherever you feel comfortable. Gently draw the chin into the throat. Feel the back of the neck lengthening and opening. Create space there. And breathe up 
through your spine. What are the natural curves of the spine? Can you notice the gentle lumbar arch? Can you feel the slight curvature in the upper back, the neck? So even though your spine has these natural curves or waves, can you continue to lengthen through and create space? Can you soften into the shoulders? Can you soften into your hips? Two or three more smooth breaths in. Allowing the body to just be. And then inhaling, bringing yourself back up and releasing your left leg. Give it a little bit of a shake. Observing for a moment how the right leg feels compared to the left. So you would have worked into one hip and worked through the back of the other leg. And then we'll do the same thing on the other side. So you can keep your left leg extended and then circle into this right hip. So you're supporting the leg with your hand and your arm and the foot or your ankle with your opposite one. And then change direction, circle the hips the other way. Bring that right foot into your left inner thigh. Give the side a bit of a bounce. Again, it might feel exactly the same as the other side, or it might feel a little different, maybe easier, maybe a little tighter. And then let it be extend and lengthen through your left leg. You might want to have it slightly flexed, bring the arms up. This time interlock your thumbs the other way. So whichever thumb you had naturally on top on the last side, change over thumbs. Soften and relax into the shoulders, allow your spine to rise up to the sky. And then from there, on your next exhalation, feel as if you're sliding forwards over a table, just leaning forwards. And then on your inhalation, you're coming back up again. And if you're comfortable with this, close your eyes and see if you can connect with that pulsation of the universe again, where as you exhale, you're reaching forward. It's like everyone everything is breathing out and as you inhale you're filling up you're creating space within you coming back to a neutral position continue to breathe to the pulsation that you connect And the next time you lengthen forward, stay there, hold it, breathe into it. Release the hands down to your legs, soften into your shoulders. Put the chin into the throat, allow the back of your neck to lengthen. Feel that you can breathe up and down the spine. Staying there for a few more breaths. Hey, sausage, shush. From here, releasing, you can slide your leg back, slide your arms back up your leg, release your arms, release your leg, give them a good shake. And then a little bit of a release through the spine, bending the knees, placing the soles of the feet on the mat, placing your hands a little behind you, fingers pointing forwards if you can, if not, they can be back. And then inhale as you Open your chest and you lean back and exhale as you round. So again, it's as if you're doing a cat stretch, you're just seated, you're opening up your chest and you're exhaling and rounding. And then you might find that at some point you feel comfortable to go a little bit further. And on your next inhalation, you might want to press down through the hands, down through the feet, and you might notice how your buttocks floats up effortlessly. And then as you exhale, your buttocks come back down towards your hands and you round and you just keep emptying the lungs through. 
Inhale as you open, and you may want to lift up. You don't have to. And exhaling, coming down. And emptying completely as you are. So three more, either by just leaning back or lifting up. You're welcome to use just a soft, natural breath, or you can use your J breath. So warming up the arms, the shoulders, the wrists as we move dynamically. It's not a strong movement, you're not folding. After the last one, releasing. Let the legs, the knees drop out to the sides, allow the soles of the feet to come towards each other, moving the um, wrist the palms, the, the wrists in circle. Circle them the other way. Lifting, circle them out to the sides, all the way up towards the ceiling. Then see if you can take your right arm back as your left arm goes forwards. Right arm goes forwards, left arm goes back, and they come up. The brain work and then out to the sides as they come down. Checking out your hat. And the knees, the feet come a little bit closer so the knees can stay where they are. If you find that your, your knees are quite a bit higher than your hips, grab your pillow, slip onto your pillow, or if you've got a um, towel, slip onto your towel. And then you should find that it's a lot more comfortable in this. You're welcome to just stay here, or if you would like to, you can now start to tilt forwards and rest <coughs> in your partner. Closing your eyes. Inhale, feel that there's a sense of length to the spine. Connecting with that sensation first. Feel that there's space in the shoulders, space in the collarbones, space in the chest. Once you've created space, then feel that you can sink into the release, into the letting go, releasing and softening into the inner hips, thighs, knees, feet. And it may mean that you, that the body feels like it wants to go further down, and you may need to extend the arms out in front, or it may mean that you need to stay up tonight. Where do you need to be? To feel a gentle sense of letting go, while at the same time having plenty of space within. Neens, can I ask you a question? Yes. Can I? How are you? Am I supposed to have my feet, soles, soles touching each other, or does it not matter? Yeah. Is it you okay? Because that makes it very, it feels very different if they are. If I overlap them, it's much easier to do. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll do the problem with the soles of the feet touching. Okay. I'll okay. Be, so. um, I'll turn myself so that you can see. There you go. All right. Move back just a fraction. There we go. All right. So from your cobbler, you're just settling into it. Two or three more breaths. And then from there, on an inhalation, you're bringing yourself all the way back up again. Bring your knees together. Give them a good squeeze. Super. And from here, we'll come up standing. So. I don't often do <laughs> too much standing, too many standing postures, especially not at night. So this is something um, a little, little different to usual. So coming into, go, that should be all right. Um, a really comfortable standing position. So your feet, legs are about hip width apart and feet are resting comfortably on the mat. And take a moment to feel that connection of the soles of the feet to the ground. And 
And again, for some of some people, it's more comfortable to have the feet and the legs together. That gives some people a sense of stability. Some people need the legs a little apart. I find with my childbearing hips, wide hips, that I need to have my feet a little apart. But find what works for you. Soften a little into the knees and make sure that you can draw your thigh bones up. So there's a lovely sense of stability and groundedness with the legs. On your inhalation, you're going to sweep those arms up. You're going to interlock the fingers, turn the palms of your hands up, and you're going to keep this soft, as if you've got a kind of a, a ball, you're a ball. The shoulders are soft here, so they're not up at the ears and your arms aren't completely straight. The elbows are bent, softness in the shoulders, softness in the arms. On an exhalation, you're going to lean over to the right. I'll Lower you so that it's a little deeper. So you intervene over to the right. Inhale back to the center. Exhale, you intervene over to the left. Inhale back to the center. Just turn the palms of the hands in, and then as you exhale, come halfway down. So you're going into a halfway forward bend. You might need to bend your knees. You can lengthen through your spine as if you're a tabletop. And then the inhalation, you come back up. And the exhalation floats the arms up to the side and down. We do that a few times. Inhaling, drawing the arms up, interlocking them, turning the palms of the hands up, soft elbows, exhale, leaning over to the right. Inhaling back to the centre, exhaling over to the left. Lovely. Inhaling, centre. You can turn the palms of the hands down and then exhale, come halfway down. Table top position, lengthening through the palms. Inhaling, then coming back up. Exhale, look. You need to do two more rounds, seeing if you can feel space within as you keep the sequence going. Turning over to the right, soft shoulders, soft knees. The inhalation lifts you up, your exhalation takes you over to the left. Lovely and soft. So you might find your body's just willing and wanting to go. The inhalation brings you back, the exhalation allows you to come forward. The knees are bent and soft, inhale as you come up. So there's absolutely no strain on your lower back whatsoever. Last round, inhaling as those arms lift. Exhaling over to the right. Inhaling to the center. Exhaling over to the left. Keeping the softness, the space within. Exhale, bring yourself halfway forwards. And then just stay there. You can bend the knees as much as you need to. And then allow the arms to come all the way down into a full forward bend. Release the neck and the head down. Watch that the knees then flare out to the side. Try and keep the knees in line with your ankles. And then you should hopefully also be in line with your ankles. Let's stand here holding it and letting go. We need to be here for a good couple of breaths. So really feel that your knees are as faint as they need to be. Allow the chest or the abdomen at least to come and rest on the thighs or as close to the thighs as possible. And while you're here, think of allowing the buttocks to lift up towards the ceiling. You're going to normally we engage the abdominals here to get a stretch through the legs. But today I'm going to invite you to just relax the abdomen. Relax them to the back of the leg. And even see if you can relax them to the soles of your feet. Relax them to your shoulders. And just hang. Now see if you can take a little bit more weight backwards towards the heels of your feet. And with the weight back there, can you notice how the 
legs start to engage a little bit more. And then we're going to release the buttocks back and down. So the back should be in a nice tabletop position. The arms come out in front. Inhale, come all the way up. And exhale, release the arms out to the sides and down. Close the eyes, take the feet a comfortable distance apart, and breathe. See if you can connect with that pulsation once more. The inhalation expanding into the space that is exhaling back to your center. So, quiet. Softness in the body, softness and stillness in the mind. And then seeing if you can allow your weight to settle down through and into your left leg. And you can open your eyes a bit to focus on the spot in front of you. And then bring your right leg up in front so that you're balancing on one leg. Rounding down through the left leg, balancing on the right. If you need to use the wall or a door to hold onto, if you don't feel that you've got balance this evening, do so. And then all you're doing is you need to flex that right foot a little and warm that up. You need to try and have your knee at the same level as your hip. And then all you're doing without twisting the hips is taking the leg out to the side. And then bring it back again. As you inhale, can you open the leg out to the side? And as you exhale, can you bring it back again? And a couple of rounds here. Grounding down firmly through that left leg and working into this right. Nothing challenging, nothing difficult, but you should feel <laughs> that there is a little bit of work happening in the hip. Once more, when it's break. Releasing. Compare how the right feels to the left. Is there more heat? Is there more warmth? Does it feel like there's more energy through one hip than the other? And then you do exactly the same thing on the other side. So we're grounding down to the right. And you can bring the left leg up this time. Gentle flex or activation in that foot. Activation through your extended left leg, your right leg. I mean, as you inhale, you allow that knee to open out to the side. And as you exhale, it comes back. So unless you're super flexible, this knee is not going to go a full 90 degrees out to the side. It will probably go about a 30, 40, maybe a bit more than that. But we're going to try and keep the hips and the pelvis completely stable or steady as we move just that leg. So we're not going to whip the whole or twist the whole hip and pelvic area. Just opening into it while keeping the rest of the body fairly steady, fairly steady. Creating space without compression, especially in the sacral area. Feel that even though you're inhaling and kind of closing backwards into the sacral, you're not compressing it, you're still breathing into it, creating space. Especially for those of us who do suffer from lower back, watch that there's not that sensation of compression or squeezing. Keep it soft, keep it light, keep it open. Next time that knee is out to the side, see if you can hold it there. If it's dropped, it might need to lift a little. And bring it back again and release it. Walking the mat. 
and then taking the legs a little wider than hip width apart or a comfortable distance apart. Breathe in smoothly, lift the chest as you exhale halfway down. Just like you did before, inhaling as you come up and exhaling just halfway down. Nice flat back. Inhaling now. And exhaling halfway down. Last one. Halfway down. Staying there, folding it. If you need to, you can bend your knees here so that you can place one hand down onto the mat. It doesn't matter which one, whichever one you can hold, you need to see to look at the screen. So you need to place the fingertips of that hand onto the mat. Or the ground in front of you, I'll move over if there's a bit here. And then from there, you can take the opposite arm up towards the ceiling. So if you're going into a little bit of a twist here, again, if that shoulder doesn't feel right, keep the hand onto the wall. So you're twisting open to the side and breathing into it here. Now, can you create space through the spine to allow that rotation to happen? Lengthen through the neck. You feel as if that top arm, which is reaching up to the ceiling, can really reach upwards. And can you feel that you can press a little bit back into your heel? Because often we take our weight into our toes. Just a bit more of an even spreading through the legs, through the feet. Adjust the neck position so that it feels right for you so that you can create that space within. Now as you hold the posture, can you again connect to that pulsation or just even to the rhythm of your breath? Where everything else disappears. There's no discomfort, there's no pain anywhere. If you need to adapt the posture so that you can feel steady and comfortable in it, do so. And then when you're ready to release, release. Bend the knees, bring the hands into your hips. Inhale, come all the way up. Exhale, release the shoulders. Circle them for a moment. And then we're going to do exactly the same thing on the other side. But from where you were, inhale and feel that you can lengthen out, turn around arms so that it's a little easier. As you exhale, you're extending forwards. Halfway. So the spine stays nice and long here. If you need to adjust, you can bend your knees in this position, but you can now bring the opposite hand down onto the ground comfortably and then gently rotate open in the opposite direction. And if you need to, or you'd like to extend that arm up to the ceiling, go ahead. If that shoulder is not happy with that movement, keep the hand in your waist or your lower back. Close your eyes. Put the weight back into the heels a little as you lift the sitting bones up towards the sky. Find that you're able to create space within the body. So wherever there's a bit of compression or resistance, what do you need to do to release? And it might mean you need to open into a shoulder a little bit more. It might mean you need to Draw the sitting bones up a little bit more. It might mean you need to change the angle or the direction of your head or your neck. And then when you're completely comfortable, connect with that breath. The inhalation of expansion. The exhalation of release. And you'll very quickly connect to that pulsation again. It starts to come more easily the more we kind of attune ourselves into it. And then slowly release, rotating back to the center. Bending both knees, bring the hands onto your hips. Inhale, come up with a straight spine, strong legs. And you can this time walk your feet in and out towards each other. 
And you might feel that you automatically want to draw your arms up, reaching up towards the ceiling and lengthening. And releasing. Good. Super. So from here, now that the body is nice and warm, we'll take it into our main posture for this evening, taking it into Druksasana, our tree pose, which most of you have done. So as usual, we are going to be rounding down through our, um, I'm just trying to think which one we were doing. We're going to ground down through our left leg and we'll bring our right leg up. And that's the side we're starting. So feeling that you're nice and stable. The same posture we did on the um, a few postures back and now you can choose you can either bring the sole of that foot to your calf if you want you can bring it up into your inner thigh make sure you skip your knee joint if you feel that you've got the flexibility and the freedom in the knee and the hip to take into a half lift just go and do that and just gently going to press your leg and your foot against one another and once you've got that Kind of resistance that pressure you can then bring the palms of your hands to your eyes. Grounding down through that left foot. Just to steady your stay and stable. Find your drishti, your gaze point, and from there then drawing the arms in. Now, like we did before, can you soften into the shoulders? Can you keep the elbows a little bit soft this evening? And can you create space between the shoulders and the ears? Can you keep space in the elbows, the wrists? And remember, if you fall out of the posture, no problem. You can always get back into it. And now notice your breath. Are you able to hold your posture just because you're holding your breath? Or can your breath and your body pulsate while you're in standing? Just like a tree does in the breeze. It moves, it's soft, it's light, it's free. And you pulsate. And you expand on that inhalation. Can you return to your center line on your exhalation? Strong, straight, steady of Rukhsasana. It's a lovely posture for those ankle joints. Feel that those insteps are working for some of us who've got collapsed arches. It really is hard work on the feet, training the insteps. And for those of us who tend to hold our breaths when we're doing something really challenging, can you breathe? Soften the arms a little, let those branches open, still holding the posture. And then when you are ready, releasing the arms. And to release your leg, bring that right knee in forward as you release your foot. And then you take that leg down. Take a moment here. Just the step. Notice how much that left leg, left foot had to engage or work to hold the tall in for you. And now feel that you can activate the right foot a little. So pressing down through those three points, activating the instep, allow the weight to shift onto that leg and allow your left leg to float up. And then from there, take it into your tree. Into your ankle, your calf, your inner thigh. You need your wall to hold onto, you're welcome to do so. Foot and thigh gently press against one another or leg. Breath is smooth and steady when you have got it, when you're stable, once you've got that drishti, you allow those arms to float. Soft elbows to me. Face, and the corners of your mouth to turn up. Just feel that you can enjoy this posture. It's 
So you can now do a bit of work with concentration and holding. There's a sense of space in the chest. And even if your body goes into a little bit of a shock or a tremor because it's about to fall out of the posture, that is fine. Rather fall out of it and keep the breath smooth and steady than trying to hold yourself in it by shortening the breath. Get the sides a little easier. Maybe extending and opening the branches. And then when you're ready, floating the arms down lovely. And then they come here and back down. Super. Excellent. Give the legs a little bit of a shake. And then from here, we can come down onto the mat. And sitting comfortably. Oops, let me change my screen. There we go. Right, let's sorry, extend the legs out in front. Having them straight together. And all we're doing is we're drawing the back of the legs up, the spine up. See if you can spread into the toes. Sitting tall. Dandasana, your scarf pose here, and place your hands on top of your hips. Nothing complicated, it's not always the easiest posture if your hamstrings are tight. If you find it's getting you in your back, then bend your knee, no problem. And then from here, we're all going to bend the knees. You can do quite a big bend or a small bend. Walk the hands forward, allow the abdomen to come and rest on the thighs, then the chest. You may want to hold onto the sides of your feet, back of the neck long. Variation, a nice soft Paschimottanasana, you're seated forward there. Feel that you can breathe from the tip of your tailbone all the way up your spine. Feeling that you're creating space through the back of your body and as you exhale, feel that the Releasing and sinking down towards the ground. Inhaling up to the back of the body. Exhaling, let me go. a few more rounds here. Softening, releasing with each breath. And placing the hands on the mat, inhaling and curling. Opening up your chest, extend your legs up. You can lean back to drain the sinuses. And release. Sitting across legs. If you want to come back onto your pillow or your folded up towel or blanket, you do so. We'll do a little bit of pranayama and then we'll take ourselves into a relaxation. So for our pranayama this evening, we're going to just work with lengthening our exhalation. So sitting comfortably, closing the eyes. Just observe your inhalations. And observe your exhalations. And you're welcome to stay with this breath, inhaling, observing the inhalation, and observing the exhalation. Or you can start working with the count. So as you inhale, you're inhaling to a count of four. And then you're exhaling to a count of four. After two rounds, we're going to change and increase. 
until we've reached our maximum or you've reached your maximum and you step up. So in other words, we're going to inhale, one, two, three, four, out, one, two, three, four, in, one, two, three, four, out, one, two, three, four, in, one, two, three, four, out, one, two, three, four, five. Again, in, one, two, three, four, out, one, two, three, four, five. In, one, two, three, four, out, one, two, three, four, five, six. In, one, two, three, four, out, one, two, three, four, five, six. And you can continue in this manner. You can work up to seven or eight, or if you find that six is your maximum, you stick with six on the exhalation. As long as the inhalation and the exhalation can remain smooth, and there's no strain in the breath or anything you're doing. Doing two or three more rounds, depending on, on where you are and how long that exhalation is. You might be on your last round now, making this the last one. Once you have completed your exhalation and there's absolutely no rush to get there, but when you have, you can then release the practice and allow a natural rhythm to return, breath to return. And then from there, we'll make ourselves comfortable for relaxation. So if you'd like to slip a pillow underneath your head, you can go ahead and do that. You can grab a blanket. You can switch the light off and um, do that. Um, that's a little nicer. I'm going to come a little closer to the screen so that you can hear me. If you've got an eye bag, slip that over your eyes. Whatever you need to do to be completely comfortable and relaxed for the next little while. And you can then start off by allowing your head to lull a little from side to side. So you're releasing any little bit of tension from the back of the head, the neck, and then bringing the head back to the center. Make tight fists of your hands, reach your hands down towards your feet, take a breath in, and then as you exhale, relax and release, soften the arms, soften your hands, relax your fingers. Flex the feet, tighten the thighs, tighten the buttocks, squeeze as much as you feel necessary. And then as you exhale, relax and release, soften your legs, soften your feet, relax the ankles. Inhale deeply, allow your belly to rise. And sigh the air out, letting go. Inhale, belly rises. Exhale, sighing the air out. Last time, inhale, belly rises, body expands, breath moves into your whole being. Exhale, gently releasing, contracting, letting go. Super. Your whole body settles and softens. And then from there, allow your awareness to travel down to the soles of your feet. 
and become aware of that gentle tingling sensation in the soles of your feet. The aliveness in the toes. So that you can breathe the sense of relaxation into your feet. Gentle warmth, or it may feel like a tingling sensation, or you may experience it as a color. Whatever relaxation represents to you, but allow that sensation to now move up into your ankles. So you're relaxing your feet and your ankles, traveling up your legs, relaxing the shins and the calves, your knees, your kneecaps in the area behind your knees. Allow that sensation to spiral up your thighs, your legs, into your hips and your pelvis. Noticing the beautiful space and aliveness you've got in your hips. And then allow that sensation to spiral up your spine all the way up. And that relaxation spreads through your back. So you're relaxing the buttocks and the sacrum first. In the lower back. In the mid back. In the upper back and shoulder blades. And as your back relaxes and softens into the mat, you notice the relaxation moving through the front of your torso. Softening the abdomen, the abdominal organs, relaxing the chest, the lungs, the ribcage, the heart. Relaxing the collarbones, shoulders. And then that sense of relaxation spirals all the way down your arms, moving freely and easily, relaxing your upper arms, your elbows, your lower arms, your wrists, your hands, and each of your fingers. Your arms and hands are completely relaxed. Feeling softness in the throat and the neck. And that lightness moving into your face and your head. Softness in the jaw, mouth, teeth and tongue. Softness in the nose, the cheeks and the ears. The eyes, the eyelids and the eyebrows. Softness in the forehead and temples. And relaxing the crown of your head. Inhaling, you notice your whole body gently and very easily expanding. Exhaling, it's as if it's contracting and the awareness is moving back to your center line. Inhaling, expanding. Exhaling, returning to your center point. And feel how you're able to breathe with this gentle pulsation of your being. The inhalation expanding. The exhalation releasing. And very soon, as you sink into that rhythm, you automatically connect with that universal rhythm and it feels as if you're one. You're inhaling and you're expanding into all that is. You and the universe one and as you're exhaling, it's as if everything is contracting back to that center point. Inhaling, you're expanding and you're receiving from the universe. And as you exhale and you return to the center point, you're exhaling and giving back to the universe. Inhaling, receiving, expanding. Exhale, giving back and returning to your center point. 
continue to just be in this pulsation for the next little while. For about a minute or so, I'll let you stay in this pulsation and I'll bring you out of the relaxation in a little while. You drift off for your mind to understand where you bring it back to the breath. And we all automatically sink into that pulsation once more. Soft, smooth. And this is the practice that you can take yourself to at any point during the day. It's such a lovely practice, even if it's just for half a minute or a minute between moving between activities, just to connect. Helps you to slow down, to bring you into focus, bring you into alignment. So when you are ready, and often it feels like it's, it's never time to be ready, but when you feel that you can bring yourself out of relaxation, do so. Just allow the practice to drift off, becoming more and more aware of the physical space you are in, the ground beneath you the space around you, the people with you. And then begin to breathe a little more deeply. Notice the rise and the fall of your chest. Allow the thumbs to then move along your fingertips, waking up your fingers. Wiggle your toes, waking up your feet. And when you're ready, you can stretch your arms up ahead. And if, and if you want to, stretching diagonally through the body, your right arm and left leg, left arm and right leg, arms on red legs, the other take a nice deep breath in, and then let it go, releasing. And when you're ready, you can hug your knees to your chest, give them a good squeeze. If you need to rock from side to side to release your spine, go ahead and do so. Eventually, you just roll onto your right side. Staying there for a moment, take a couple of breaths, readjusting, getting used to or moving the body from that state of relaxation back into a space of movement and aliveness. And then when you're ready, you can place your left hand onto the mat in front of you. You can push yourself all the way up into a seated position, maybe crossing the legs the other way to when you started. And sitting nice and tall. And keep the eyes closed and feel the breath flowing in and out again. You bring the hands into Anjali Mudra at your heart center. And take a moment to think of three things you're grateful for. Three things that happened today that you're grateful for, no matter how small or how big. And then with that awareness, thank you bowing your head, taking a moment to acknowledge the beautiful, amazing being that you are, filled with love. And then when you're ready, you can bring the palms of your hands together, get the hands nice and warm, cup them over your eyes, take a deep breath in, and slowly out. Blink the eyes a few times, getting used to the light. And namaste. Well done, everyone. Thank you so much for being here. And um, yeah, <laughs> glad you've all, as Rob has joined us as well. Well done. Um, glad you've all managed to, most of you've managed to stay on. Awesome. Thanks, guys. Thanks, Nina. Beautiful clip.